In Alberta, Canada, tar sand extraction is an escalating environmental concern due to the negative transformation of the environment and local ecosystems. Tar sands are the mixture of sand, water, and hydrocarbons called bitumen, which is eventually converted to oil through industrial processing. A complex and energy intensive process is used to extract the bitumen. Once extracted, oil industries export the oil globally. However, these companies cause a plethora of local environmental degradation, such as deforestation, habitat loss, and exposure to toxic chemicals. This degradation and increased amounts of greenhouse gas emissions are two of the main negative environmental impacts generated from tar sand extraction. Environmental degradation occurs during multiple steps of the extraction process. For example, deforestation is necessary in order to access tar sands. This results in the loss of local ecosystem and ecosystem functions, which negatively affects native flora and fauna. Likewise, many toxic chemicals are needed to isolate the bitumen, such as arsenic and mercury. Oftentimes, these toxic chemicals leak into local watersheds. Once in the local watersheds, the toxic chemicals pose a severe threat to wildlife species and humans. This is because various animal species use these local watersheds during daily activities, which in return leads to direct contact with these toxic chemicals. The entire extraction process possesses an immediate threat to local ecosystems by poisoning waterways, food supplies, and destroying natural habitats. Increasing greenhouse gas emissions is seen as a major threat to the global environment because of the numerous environmental impacts interconnected with this increase, such as sea level rise and biodiversity loss. The high amount of greenhouse gas emissions associated with tar sands is often of concern because as tar sand extraction intensifies, the emissions will also increase. These operations in Alberta are already the largest single point source of greenhouse gas emission in all of Canada. However, estimates show plans to increase daily tar sand productions to 3 to 5 million barrels per day by 2030. Increased production and consumption of tar sand oil is a step firmly in the opposite direction. Local landscapes and ecosystems have already begun transforming in a negative way. The only way to truly prevent the plethora of negative transformations facing the Arctic is to leave these tar sands in the ground. Environmental groups, such as Greenpeace, are working to terminate tar sand operations to minimize environmental damage caused directly by the extraction process. Greenpeace works to stop tar sands by pressuring governments, educating the citizens on the negative effects, and by helping impacted communities. Oftentimes, their efforts are silenced by the oil corporations due to the high profits gained from exploiting these tar sands. As the battle becomes more global, we must ask ourselves, do we want this dirty hydrocarbon-based future, or is it time to think about a sustainable and alternative resource-based future.